and the question about the rights between uh, journalism and you know, the the First Amendment protects the right of residents, whether citizens or not. So, including, for instance, undocumented workers, anyone has a right to observe uh, government in action. And it's the essence of the First Amendment. Uh, if you think about the five different rights that the First Amendment protects, one of them is the freedom of the press. A separate one is the right to speak. When you think about the tools that we today have available to us on the internet, the right to speak and the right to press converge because all of us essentially uh, are entitled to the same rights that journalists are with respect to disseminating information. And where I think this becomes particularly sharp uh, and where the rubber hits the road, you might say, is in the debate today, and I wouldn't even say there's a debate, I mean, I think there, there is a debate about uh, police violence, and there is a debate being contrived by the state about the right to observe and record police departments. There's, uh, just to draw this into very sharp focus, there's a case in the Third Circuit Court of Appeals, this is the uh, federal appellate court that encompasses Pennsylvania, as well as New Jersey, and it's mm. uh, currently evaluating an appeal from a district court decision in Philadelphia that held, as far as we know, for the very first time that Americans do not have a First Amendment right to record police unless, according to this court, the photographer, the, the uh, person capturing the video, announces their hostility to the police in that moment, and it's a harebrained decision that... Uh, not only shreds the First Amendment, but also invites violence and even undermines the rule of law. And we could talk, you know, a little bit about why that is the case. But the, mm -hmm. the rights of people to observe our government in action are fundamental to both the First Amendment and our democracy. And we, uh, we flirt with restrictions on those rights at great peril to our freedoms. Mm -hmm. Well, and, let me ask you this. The police department, as I understand it, are civil servants, right? Uh, they are civil servants, that's right. So, in essence, as taxpayers, they're working for us, correct? Yeah, that's right. We are their bosses. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, okay. you have to realize that there's a huge uh, disparity in terms of the extent to which Americans are meaningfully poised to assert that relationship, right? I mean, there is uh, there's enormous privilege that many people enjoy in the opportunity to assert that relationship with a police officer and not invite escalation, right? If your skin is dark and you live in a low-income neighborhood, trying to tell the police that they work for you is not a particularly effective strategy to, you know, uh, a peaceful encounter, let's say. 